Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and felt like a stranger in your own world? Or maybe you felt like you were looking at a mirror reflecting a distant, unknown part of yourself. What if I told you this feeling might not be so far from the truth? Here we are on this tiny planet, a speck in the cosmos. We consider ourselves the natives of Earth, the only home we've ever known. But what if our true origins are not as terrestrial as we believe? What if the key to humanity's past, present, and future might not lie on Earth, but out there, written in the stars? Let's embark on a journey that stretches from the inner workings of our DNA to the farthest reaches of the cosmos to unravel a story, our story, a journey to explore a question that has puzzled scientists, philosophers, and dreamers alike. Are we, in fact, aliens? Cosmic Origins Are we aliens? This question, seemingly a leap into science fiction, is actually a profound enquiry that has captivated scientists, philosophers, and thinkers alike. The theory of panspermia, our understanding of life on Earth, and the quest for extraterrestrial beings are central to this exploration. Our planet poetically described by Carl Sagan as a pale blue dot suspended in a sunbeam, is a tiny speck in the vast universe. Life as we know it has flourished in this corner of the Milky Way, yet its ingredients originated far beyond our world. The narrative begins with the Big Bang, a colossal explosion that birthed the universe scattering particles and energy to form stars, planets, and eventually us. The elements within us, like oxygen and carbon, once resided in solar infernos. Most of our body's elements were forged in the heavens, slowly across billions of years. Yet some of our hydrogen and lithium, trace elements in our bodies, may have come directly from the Big Bang itself. This cosmic heritage prompts us to consider our origins and our connection to the broader universe, which we have done for millennia. Our ancestors left behind enigmatic structures and artifacts. Were these merely tributes to the heavens or signals to distant beings? Their silent monoliths and cryptic glyphs endure through time, hold secrets yet to be unraveled. And the Fermi Paradox further deepens our sense of mystery as we ponder why evidence of extraterrestrial beings remains elusive in a universe potentially teeming with life. Are we not looking in the right places? Or are we, in fact, the evidence? Now consider the Cambrian Explosion, a period of rapid and diverse evolution on Earth. Could this have been spurred by outside intervention, the presence of extraterrestrial material, from the water we drink to the meteorites bearing organic compounds, suggest a cosmic connection? This link raises the possibility that life on Earth may have been seeded from elsewhere. If so, the notion of us being aliens is not as far-fetched as it seems. Our ancestors told stories of starry visitors throughout history, 
depicted in cave paintings and campfire stories. Were these accounts of external visitors, or were they hinting at a more profound cosmic truth about our origins? In essence, the question, are we aliens, intertwines science, history, and mystery, inviting us to ponder our place in the cosmos and the origins of life on Earth. Panspermia, Life's Interstellar Journey. Panspermia, an idea as ancient as the Greek philosophers, suggests a profound origin story for life on Earth, not from the familiar soils of our world, but from the distant reaches of space. The name itself, from pan meaning all, and sperma meaning seed, hints at life seeds journeying across the cosmos to take root on our planet. Water, the elixir of life, envelops 71% of our planet's surface. But consider its celestial origin story. Some scientists propose that Earth's oceans arrived on comets and asteroids during our solar system's tumultuous infancy. If our oceans are cosmic imports, what does that imply about the rest of our planetary home? The theory of panspermia contends that life's rudimentary components like amino acids or even hardy microbes could have traversed space on these interstellar vessels, crash landing on Earth. Indeed, we've uncovered amino acids with meteorites that have collided with our planet, posing the tantalizing question if such building blocks hail from the depths of space, what other ingredients for life have traveled on solar winds? Envision a comet, icy harbinger from the void, striking primordial Earth with the force to rewrite our planet's destiny. Could it have been the courier of life's necessities or even life itself? This idea isn't just speculation. Extremophiles, life forms resilient to the most inhospitable conditions, indicate that life is durable, perhaps even voyaging from one world to another. Panspermia's modern resurgence owes much to the discovery of complex organic molecules on comets and asteroids, evoking images of life seeds spreading throughout the cosmos. Critics, however, caution us, noting the lack of conclusive evidence and the theory's inability to address life's ultimate origin. Finally, on the fringe, we have directed panspermia, a theory bordering on science fiction, suggesting an intentional delivery of life to Earth by an alien civilization, consciousness, or will. While we stand on the speculative frontier here, this idea stirs the human imagination like few others. So, could we indeed be the progeny of ancient cosmic voyagers? While direct evidence for panspermia is still absent and the universe continues to guard its secrets fiercely, an old adage encourages us, the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Understanding life on Earth we cohabitate with millions of species on Earth. Yet we alone ponder our existence, purpose, and place in the universe. Our odyssey of understanding begins with DNA, the intricate material of life. Within its spirals, some sequences remain enigmatic. Termed junk DNA, could they be cryptic clues to our cosmic lineage? Deciphering our genetic script parallels unlocking ancient texts. Each gene we unravel, each peculiarity in our DNA, is a piece of an immense mosaic. Occasionally, we stumble upon genetic fragments that seem to have materialized from the void, hints that could be the imprints of an extraterrestrial heritage. Life on Earth is a tapestry of radical transformations an evolutionary saga from single cells to the diversity of creatures roaming the land and seas. Every leap in this narrative might be breadcrumbs on our cosmic path. 
As we delve into the genetic enigma, we discover that life as we know it craves certain conditions, a delicate balance of water, temperature, and protection from the sun's harsh gaze. Earth is the only known haven in the vastness of space where we know this delicate balance exists. Yet we continue to search the heavens, wondering if our biological saga echoes in the silent expanse. Consider this. Perhaps humanity is not the conclusion, but a waypoint in an ongoing voyage, a trajectory extending back into the stellar realm. We are part of a continuum, a living chronicle that began far beyond our terrestrial cradle. The Search for Extraterrestrial Life The quest to answer whether we are alone in the universe propels our search for life outside the Earth. Gazing into the vast cosmos with its countless stars and planets, the thought of Earth as the sole host of life seems incredibly improbable. Each technological leap brings us closer to bridging the cosmic distances. Perhaps this relentless push to explore is a siren call from our alien forebears, an innate drive to reconnect with our celestial roots. Our technological advances act as beacons, signaling our readiness to join the cosmic community. Are these urges mere curiosity or echoes of an extraterrestrial instinct encoded within us? As we teeter on the verge of becoming a multi-planetary species, we must reflect on our origins. Earth, with its vibrant array of life, is more than just home. It's a repository of the universe's deepest secrets. In understanding and preserving our world, we inch closer to the truths of our possible extraterrestrial past. And the neighborhood of our solar system presents even more possibilities to explore and learn. NASA's Perseverance rover is currently exploring Mars with its ancient riverbeds. And we have used radar to scan Titan with its hydrocarbon lakes, images to tantalize us with hints of life out there. Our probes and rovers are the vanguards in a quest, not merely seeking alien life, but searching for a connection to our lineage. Beyond our local space, the Milky Way teems with countless systems, many hosting planets that could mirror our own. Thanks to missions like the Kepler Space Telescope, we now know Earth-like planets are more common than we had thought. Could their denizens be silently pondering the same existential questions? Are they too asking, are we alone? And the James Webb Space Telescope's recent discoveries, like detecting methane and carbon dioxide on K-1218b, suggest that Hycian worlds, planets with hydrogen-rich atmospheres and oceans, might be commonplace. Each discovery reshapes our understanding of where life could exist and how it may have spread to Earth. Our growth across the planet, through our solar system, and into the celestial sea has only just begun. As we journey, the mysteries of existence and our origin beckon with the promise that the answers are as magnificent as life itself and our search for answers transcends scientific endeavor. It mirrors our innermost yearnings for identity, connection, and a place within the grand scheme of existence. As we gaze upon the cosmic shores from which we may have sailed, let us remember to search for life amongst the stars is, in essence, to seek out who we truly are. Regardless of whether our origin lies here or in the incredible vastness, one truth endures. We are explorers at heart, united by a quest for knowledge and a profound need to find our place in the grand narrative of existence. Are we aliens? The journey to that revelation continues, a quest filled with wonder, yearning, 
and the infinite potential of the unknown. As we strive forth into the deep, let's embrace the grand cosmic story we're just beginning to comprehend, one where every discovery is a homecoming and every question brings us closer together. Thank you for joining me on this interstellar journey. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, tell your story in the comments below, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars, and remember, we are made of the same cosmic material that floats through the universe. In a very literal sense, we are not just in the universe, the universe is in us.